Others draw artifacts at the beginning. And what I got was the obscene stealing skill. But when I saw the skill, I was suddenly shocked. How can it be? It turned out to be SS7. You can see the profile and understand the strength. It turns out he didn't restrict who he could steal from. I looked at the head of Novice Village meaningfully. Then he quickly started a conversation with him. Then came the system prompt. You successfully used the Miyoshu empty skill on the village chief. Steal a gold coin. Sure enough, as I expected. This skill can be activated on NPC. And successfully stealing can also refresh the cooling time. Wait 30 minutes for the cooldown to reset to zero instantly. I looked at the village chief with a smile. In this way I from the village. Chang stole the skill book suitable for him. One of them is called Chongzan. B-level skills are charged for one second to cause 150% damage to the target. And the critical hit rate is slightly increased. And the other one is about continuous beheading. C-level skills cause 3 damage to a single enemy. Inflict 75% damage of own attack for the first time. The second time deals 80% damage. Deals 100% damage for the last time. With these two skills, you can easily distance yourself from other players. After taking a few bottles of low-level recovery potions from the pharmacy, start my newbie journey. First, I accepted a novice mission from the village chief. Eliminate slimes. Then I took a tattered stick. Wandering to a blue slime. Then came a hard blow. This stick dealt 10 points of damage. But the counterforce is not small. This attack successfully angered the harmless slime. I saw him leap up and hit me hard on the stomach. Knock me directly to the ground. The blood bar on the top of my head also lost a small section. This real pain. It is indeed a game known as the second world of mankind. But it's too late to think about it now. I raised the wooden stick in my hand and started to gather. Use your energy to launch a heavy slashing skill against the slime. This time it directly caused 30 points of critical damage. For a slime with only 100 drops of blood. Can't stand my several blows at all. Last ring for 30 seconds. And I also successfully gained 10 experience points. Just like this, after I killed the 10th slime. I feel warm. Then a burst of golden light fell. The system sends a prompt, congratulations, you have successfully upgraded to level 2. I open my personal panel again. See your properties panel. Compare with your first level self. Increase attack and defense by 1 point. Health points increased by 100 points. But the strange thing is that there are no free attribute points. Not only that. After I submit the task. There is only one experience point. Not even a decent piece of equipment. When I look at myself in rags. When paired with a wooden stick. Can't help but greet the game planner 100 times. Finally, I can only get a white iron sword from the soldier. Then go out and fight. Just then a stone hit me hard on the head. I stare. I discovered that not far away was the first bronze leopard in the server. Goblin King. Obviously, with my current strength, I can't do anything to him. Even with heavy hits, only 1% HP is lost. I had to run. But seeing his bulging package, I can't help but try to use my hands against him. Sure enough, when the other party is more advanced than yourself, skills are easily exposed. King of Goblins sees his parcel stolen. Keep chasing me. I had no choice but to lead him to the entrance of Novice Village. As expected, there are already many novice players here. When I saw the bronze level boss, I couldn't help but shout. They all picked up the 80 meter short sticks in their hands. Just slap him randomly. And I stood in a corner wretchedly. Start taking inventory of the Goblin King's packages. As soon as I opened it, there was sparkling silver inside. There actually is. 10 gold coins and 500 silver coins are placed in Novice Village. Absolutely a huge sum of money. At this time, the King of Goblins was besieged by everyone. Only about a quarter of the blood volume remains. 
Then a man in the crowd shouted. I am the crazy sort of chaos. This boss is owned by our family in trouble times. The rest of the people waited to disperse. As soon as the words fell, everyone seemed to dare not speak out. And this managed to get my attention. It turns out that the mad knife in troubled times in front of me, it's a well-known person in the forum. More than, because he introduced himself in extremely arrogant words. And he is in the novice package. SS level blessed pig, compared with most of them only draw copper. Coin players only. This is simply an existence against the sky. When I saw the profile of Shen Yuju, can't help but look bright. After the guide is used, the skill level can be directly improved. I'm sorry if I don't steal this artifact. Then he looked at the dying Goblin King. I knew it was my turn to play. But when I get close, he was blocked by several members of the troubled family. Look at their mighty appearance and their unyielding appearance. I can't help shrinking my neck. Subconsciously glanced at the opponent's equipment and attributes. A good guy can't rely on a rotten stick and has 200 health points. I feel like talking to him is a waste of time. Raise your hand and hit with a heavy slash, taking away 210 points of critical damage. See these triple digit injuries. The other members of the troubled family were stunned on the spot. When I saw this, I took the opportunity to execute a series of slashes. Just like this, another soul was added to the dead body under the sword. Then he raised his sword and attacked the Goblin King. How dare you could steal the boss of our troubled times. The person who shouted is Chaos Knife. There is a glint in my eyes. The corner of the mouth curled into a strange arc. I'll show my skill at him in the next moment. Empty ding. You get the silver coins from the knife backpack. I am not discouraged. I know the divine blessing pearl must be on him. Then between the gaps. By the way, take down the dying Goblin King. Congratulations on defeating the Goblin King. Earn an amazing 1000 points. Then two golden lights shine from my body. The huge experience points allowed me to upgrade to levels in a row. Become a level 5 strong man. You are the first player in the game to defeat Bronze Ultra. Obtain additional bonus, free attribute points plus 5. Add 100 reputation points. Lucky value plus 1. And get input from server-wide announcements. As expected. After the system announcement, there was a lot of discussion on the forum. Suddenly my name spread throughout the server. And while everyone was still intoxicated with the server-wide announcement, I pick up the items dropped by the Goblin King. Goblin Knife. Bronze Level. Required Level 5 to increase damage to goblins by 20% when attacking. Goblin Boots. Bronze Level. The movement speed of defensive weapons is increased by 10%, which requires Level 5. I immediately put onto pieces of equipment. Then add those 5 points. All free attributes are added to attack. In an instant, the combat power increased dramatically. Looking at my current attribute blue. It won't be a problem even if I fight that Goblin King alone. And just when I was complacent. The curses of the mad sword of chaos are heard in my ears. Hand over the equipment. Otherwise, I guarantee you won't be able to get a new position. After that, a group of players from the troubled family gathered around. But handsome only lasts 3 seconds, with high attack power. They can't stand my sword at all. And facing the crazy sword in troubled times, Doctor directly sends sincere greetings. Succeeded in irritating him. When he attacks. I took advantage of the situation and launched my magic hand at him, but it's a pity. This time I just stole a low-level potion. And now more and more people are surrounding me. Just because of the troubled times, Crazy Sword offered 20,000 hidden flowers to buy me. But under the suppression of their strength, they couldn't sustain it at all. After 3 seconds, I launched the magic hand again. And this time finally came the hint I wanted. You stole God bless the Lord from the package of Chaotic Crazy Knife. I ignored the crowd siege and laughed out loud. Just when the chaos and the mad knife didn't know why. I'll just give him a big gift. Swish. A heavy slash with 510 points of damage sent him back to the city directly.
He stands at the resurrection point with a dazed look. Obviously a sword can kill myself. But it takes so long to talk nonsense. Always feel something wrong. And after I successfully captured the weasel spider. Don't stay any longer. 10% speed bonus with goblin boots. I quickly shook them off. And just focus on fighting. Didn't even notice the system prompts. You maliciously killed more than 100 players. Successfully activated the title of hundreds of killers. Increases attack bonus by 10% after wearing. I couldn't help but smile at this unexpected surprise. But what excites me the most is this divine blessing bead on my hand. The master who is now S's level is empty. If you upgrade it to another level, it will be an SSS level skill. It's one of the few in the entire server. But the rewards come with the risks. The more advanced the upgrade, the lower the success rate. Skills before SS level must be upgraded successfully. But the success rate for SS level and above will drop sharply. I thought about it for a while and finally made the same decision. Then came a reminder. Please make sure to use Shenbliss Pig. Improve the level of Master Kong Kong. I took a deep breath. Then Chen Sheng said. I'm sure the system prompt should ring again next moment. 